Welcome back to another uh, Skate Advice with me, Mark. Today we're going to be learning how to smith grind. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get into it. Smith grind. They're really reliant on this back wheel near your heel if you're a regular. Okay, so smith grinds. They're really a heel side heavy trick. You're actually all centered. Your whole body is centered sitting at the pocket in the back truck relying on that back wheel to lock in and just holding it kind of like those kung fu kicks yeah you're just holding it down the pop leg is just bent okay. your pocket is right here in the back truck just waiting to lock in and stand on that pocket if you can 50-50, you can do this. All you gotta do is practice some 50-50s and then getting your front truck to miss the coping and bringing it down. And if you learn that, pretty much, it's kind of like missing a 50-50 and dipping it down. The more dips down, the more touches, the more rad it is. But if it's doing this 5-0 uh, no touch and you're kind of in that position but you're not touching it, uh, I like to call it smivos. They don't consider that a smith grind. You're just doing a weird 5-0. Uh, what you want to learn is uh, doing some stalls into it. Stay right in front of it, you know, parallel. Learn how to pop and get that pose. Bending your knees, front foot straight out. Yep, you're just going to have to learn how to do that stall for a while. When you get that feel of you just chilling on that uh, pop leg and front foot forward, it should come easier. If you're going to smith grind on ledges, you're going to want the top part to be a little slick because when it's all rough and stuff, you might catch it and fly. And not too much because if it's too much, you might slip out and just do a lip slide. So maybe learning 50-50s and controlling a lip slide would kind of help into learning this trick. Uh, five O's would help. Maybe if you get five O's down, uh, it'll help you practice to learn how to stand on one truck on the back. You'll learn five O's before you learn Smith grinds. My foot placement for Smith grinds. It's pretty much like a 50-50, a except a little more foot. My foot is a little more pointed straight. And I'm more in this, uh, you know, little, almost there in the pocket. So when I pop it in, I get to go forward and you can see my back foot is going to be in that pocket and I'm flexing it. This front foot's like that, so I'm gonna extend this foot straight. It keeps the pose good. It might be easier for you to uh, practice on something small and get the feel of the grind, because sometimes you could slip out or it gets too crazy when you lean all that weight in the back. Kind of like a crooked 5-0, susky grind. Uh, kind of like, yeah, susky grind, but you're putting it down. You can do 50s to Smith grinds, practice those, so you learn how also, um, for your shoulders, you don't want to throw it open too much. You're just going to try to throw it a little bit as a little you know, turn to get into that smith. You just need to hold that position. Your shoulders, they're going to hold that kind of like a, maybe a, a 10 or 20 degree angle when you're turning in. Back wheel on the heel, heel side heavy trick. Use that pressure to put that pocket down. Front foot points out in that little pointy toe position and you just lean back and let your momentum carry you because that's what's going to make you grind is that momentum of your speed and leaning back because if you're too forward you're not going to grind what i see a lot is if you do a smith grind and you fall forward that means you're not leaning back even if you have that pose if you fall forward or it gets stuck and the front foot drops all the way down and you you pitch forward that means you're not leaning back and your weight is is totally wrong you want to go too forward because you're going to do this you want to be too back you do that. Oh my god. So you want to just be, you're about to pop, pop, and still kind of be on this. You know, don't even toe down. Secret is getting this back truck in there. See that? You're kind of missing 50, but you're making this part kind of lock in. You know? Okay, you're keeping that front foot forward, staying back, so you can you keep that grind to go. Long. You know, it's kind of like that. You 
ready. More pressure on the back of your heel. Come out. Smith grinds are like one of those tricks where uh, your form really does matter, like the pose. Smith grinds, they deal a lot with the pose and the weight of how you're putting your uh, momentum. Because the more speed you have and the more weight you have centered in that back pocket and locked into that back wheel, the more solid you can lock in and just grind straight along. It's a pretty weird feeling, but Smith grinds, you really gotta keep doing it. And that back leg bent, leaning back and pointing the straight leg forward. You'll understand how much you're gonna need. Just feel that momentum take you. Just keep doing it, man. It's a heel, hillside back truck heavy type of trick where you put your pressure and all your weight there. And all you're doing is leaning back to keep, it, to keep that momentum going. So keep practicing those stalls and then learn how to do it slowly. And then you'll figure out the right momentum you're gonna need, the right speed and the pop and then how you're gonna get in. Your back foot's more bent, put your knees bent and stuff in that pocket and the front foot is straight to push it down. You know, and you're just, your momentum is more in the back and you're just trying to coast it, you know? Kind of like that. You ain't smithing if you ain't touching. That's one of the little, things that skaters say so you gotta dip it down you'll get this cool groove from it being you know touching. what you see you want it like that of course it's not gonna really look like that because there's no weight but when you put the weight on your heels it will cause your board to flex down you know and then you have a little more leverage to be pulling it up back wheel where your heel is at on your pop leg is the one that really matters. Having a little bit of loose trucks help because it's gonna help your board flex when you get in that pocket and the kink pin's gonna be grinding along with it. Try to keep it centered all on this while you're chilling and the front leg is just a little pointed out. You're just centered on this weight it stays on uh, your, your pop leg. You can learn Smith grinds doing it at the little corner of the ledge. Also, just start off learning on maybe two or one foot grinds on the ledge, of the tip of the ledge. Uh, when I first learned it, I like to do it on a, like really short little manual pad curb ledges. And I did it like maybe only a foot just so I could learn how to make the front go down. And it clears it a little bit easier. If you're going to learn this trick, try to grind just the tip of the ledge so you can learn how to come off. Coming out the same uh, position as uh, when you're going to do like a power ollie from a tail stall. That's all you're doing as, as in how to come out of a smith grind. Smith grinds, they're really tragic to do. I hope you guys uh, take this advice and you watch how I do it, my form. You get to see what's the little secrets I do with them. But my best advice is uh, being all centered in back weight, front foot forward, uh, bent down. In that back pocket, you're just leaning it back out with your heel. More of a heel trick, you know, but keep it centered with your toes. Well, yeah, go out and try it. Hope this helps. video helps you. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. Comment the next trick you want to see. Uh, yeah. Enjoy. Peace. <clears throat>